Hey guys, I'm gonna make a full cooked breakfast for my family, including scrambled eggs, so I'll show you what I do. So, I've got some bacon, it was on special. <clears throat> got some breakfast sausages, <clears throat> tomatoes, eggs to make scrambled eggs, baked beans, mushrooms, my favorite, I prefer Swiss brown. Um, and hash bites. So what I do is I prepare the stuff for the oven first and then while it's cooking I do the rest. And even before I filmed I used to always put my food out before because when you cook if you put all the food out you know what you've got and if you're missing something you can go to the shop before you start cooking. So I'll start with um, as you can see, I'm in a different kitchen. I'm at my parents' house. Um, my sister's visiting from overseas, so I thought I'd make everyone breakfast. So I'll do the... So I'm just using a baking sheet to do the um, hash whites. So I'm making enough for the five of us. making this look awkward like usual. So I just make them flat and then there's a little bit of room at the end where I'm going to put the tomatoes that I'm going to cut in half. So I'll just turn the oven on. But my dad's oven is flash. <laughs> I turned it on fan bake 180, which is what I put most stuff in. Sarah in the lounge chilling out drinking coffee. And I'm cooking them breakfast because I'm nice. So I'm just cutting the tomatoes in half. And I put them cut side up because I'm going to roast them. And they go in the bottom. So there's two layers in the oven. These go down the bottom. This one's going to be for the bacon and sausages. <laughs> so I'll put the sausages on first. So just little breakfast sausages from Hellas, I like them. So just got some baking paper down. For it to be an English breakfast, I'd have to include um, black pudding, but i uh, never tried it. I might have to do that sometime. So these are sausages. Done. So I'm trying not to mess up my dad's kitchen. He calls me the kitchen tornado. So just, just got some shoulder bacon. You can use rashers, you can use whatever. And I just cross hatch it because it all cooks. I love making breakfast, it's one of my favourite things to make, that's why most of my videos are about making breakfast. I'm 
I have to do a second tray. What I'll do is I'll cook some bacon in the um, thing after a fry pan. COVID brain, keep forgetting words. <laughs> in the fry pan after I've done the mushrooms or when the bacon's cooked, swap it over. Because the sausages take longer than the bacon, so I'm just going to do it in two batches. Okay, next, got some butter. I'm going to use half of the mushrooms and half for the scrambled eggs I'm going to make. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is the mushrooms. Only me and my sister and my dad eat them. My brother and my mum don't. Now let me see if I can work their stove top. So I just cut them in half. And I know you're not supposed to crowd the pan, but who cares? I just put them all together. So Swiss Browns are mini portobellos. Oh, I'm going to cut this one in four and I just chuck the mushrooms in depending on how big they are so I've got them as you can see in the pan pan's heating up and while it's heating up I'll put them in So I'm just going to put them all in there and I'll cook down with some butter. If you do white butter and you can do whatever, but I love Swiss brown, they're my favourite. These ones are a bit bigger, sometimes you can get Swiss browns that are smaller. They remind me of the um, mushrooms that I used to get on Grandma and Granddad's farm. Fresh. So what I do is I get all the things on first and I do the scrambled eggs last because they take a lot of care. see let's do baked beans you could do spaghetti if you wanted but I like baked beans good old bodies Kiwi classic can get English ones if you want Heinz man mum and dad have a weird can on there Maybe it's the other way. No. What's he? Just trying to do the cans. Oh, I'm going to pause to ask my mum how to use the can opener because um, I don't think she wants to be in my video because it's all good though. <laughs> so even at my age, sometimes you have to be rescued by your mum. Turns out I had it at the wrong angle. Awkward, like usual. I remembered everything, but I messed up the can opener. So putting the back beans in. So they're all ready to go. So 
are just stirring the mushrooms just so all the butter melts turned it up a wee bit so you don't want it high heat you want it kind of medium so baked beans are in as well they don't need to be on straight away so I kind of time it out so that everything is done at the same time so I do the things in stages so scrambled eggs will be next just get some milk and yes I am putting milk in my scrambled eggs I'm not a weirdo like Gordon Ramsay who puts sour cream in them yuck Okay, the first thing you do when making scrambled eggs is I've got some butter in here to melt. And then... <clears throat> so I'm going to crack the eggs. Do my dad's trick. He's the one who taught me how to crack eggs using a butter knife. So I'm making a big batch because I'm making um, for five or four because not everyone eats breakfast. But what I do is I factor in two to three eggs per person. So not everyone in my family is a big eater. So I'm um, estimating that two. Oh, there's some shell. eggs so I don't really measure my butter I kind of just eyeball it enough butter to flavor it really so I'm gonna um, these ones are quite big eggs so I'm thinking eight Might go for nine. Mess that one up to get some shell out. Just make sure the mushrooms are coated in the butter and just leave them. They kind of do their own thing. Butter's melting. Just mixing the eggs. Can do them without milk, but I prefer them with milk and butter. I reckon they taste the best that way.
And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in there. I always forget something. So it's going to check on the bacon. <clears throat> Looking all right. <clears throat> so the butter's nearly melted for the scrambled eggs. Might actually change the element. Because you have to stir them, so. So basically, the way you make scrambled eggs good is by stirring them the whole time. So I'm just going to pour the eggs in. How you can tell I'm not at my usual kitchen is mum and dad have better kitchen stuff than me. <laughs> my brother's kitchen, everything that could be was black. And mum and dad have nice stuff. So you're just stirring the eggs. You have to stir them the whole time, otherwise they catch on the bottom. And take a break. Stir the beans. So I just take breaks to stir other things and it gets there. So I'm feeding my whole family. When I first learned to cook, I learned to cook for five. So I had to adapt when I used to cook from my flats and then now I just cook for me. It's all cooking. I'm just going to put some stuff in the sink so that when the bacon's done, I can change the bacon over to the stuff that needs to be cooked. So you can see all the pans. So if you get it timed right, everything will be ready at once. So I'm just going to let these, so you have to keep a close eye so they don't stick on the bottom. Because if I burn mum and dad's pan, you might not see any more videos. <laughs> Jokes. So mushrooms are going good, you stir them occasionally so they all get coated in the butter. I like them chunky, some people slice them into slices but I like them how I love them. Stirring the baked beans. You can do them in the microwave, but I reckon they taste better in the pot. I'm going to turn it down a bit. <clears throat> Just 
turning it up a bit. Might put a little bit of butter in here because it's nearly gone. <clears throat> No such thing as too much butter. <laughs> so my bacon sitting here for when this sort's done. Nearly done. So I'm going to put the eggs away, clean up after myself for once. <clears throat> Just going to get a plate. All we'll do is we'll put the bacon on the plate and put it in the microwave to get warm. I'm going to change the element back to that one. <clears throat> Needs a bigger base to cook. That's okay. Got a plate ready to put the bacon on. What I'm going to do is just get it. So, as you can see, bacon's done, sausages are not. I like mine like this. Some people like it super crispy, but not me. Don't put it straight in the microwave to stay warm. Put more bacon on. Stir the eggs. Just doing what I did last time, cross hatching it. putting it back in the oven. <clears throat> so just stirring the scrambled eggs. It's never much cooked, so I'm just going to turn it to low. Keep them in. <clears throat> Mushrooms are nearly done. It's just scrambled eggs to go on the bacon.
I like making scrambled eggs. Sometimes I just feel like scrambled eggs on toast for this. But <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is swap. So the mushrooms are nearly done, so I'll put them here. Playing musical elements. <clears throat> As you can see, the mushrooms are pretty much done. So, <clears throat> it's a matter of keeping them warm as well. <clears throat> Stirring scrambled eggs. So, you're starting to fall. So as you can see, there's your liquid, but there's also solid bits. And you just stir it until it all becomes solid. <clears throat> you can do poach, fried, whatever, but I felt like scrambled eggs. <clears throat> just stirring. No, we can't. I can't come here, but I haven't got that. I like it. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, the best thing, thankful, it's not me, because when I was there, I was standing up, I thought I was going to do something else. I would have had to jump over the leaf, eat it, soak my hand on the mm. And yet, and then I would have bounced off the sofa and, and rolled over on something like an actual sofa. Mm. nearly there, so as you can see, still almost nearly all solid, but not quite. That is all done. So if you look in there, got solid scrambled eggs. <clears throat> so they're all cooked. Pretty much everything is. <laughs> and that's how you make a full cooked breakfast. Now I just make the coffee and we're done. Have a go yourself. You can add, subtract things, put different things in up to you. <clears throat> yeah, that's a full cooked breakfast for you.